Welcome to another exciting episode of Fishing with Jay. It has been quite a journey. On this episode of Fishing with Jay, we're gonna again not do some fishing. I apologize for that, but we got a boat to build. We got this Ponga from Bahio. It's kind of been the dream boat all my life. The plan is getting this boat here flats ready. It's a, it's a bare hull, so we gotta put a floor in, casting deck, and make it fishable and usable for, for the series. We're gonna take it all across the United States. So this episode, we are at Solus Boat Company. They make a massive, incredible boat. So oh, you're enough to give us a little bit of space to work on it and let it give us access to the tools and a bunch of brain power because uh, I really, again, don't know what I'm doing. Infusion all day. Look at all these parts all done up. Carbon fiber and whatnot. Oh, man. Making it up. Puerto Rico in the house. Oh, thank you, everyone. Whoa. First up, I gotta make some sort of template to get the, the casting deck set up properly. Um, I gotta get the dimensions of it, so I'm gonna cut some wood strips on this old table saw here and start latticing it across to try to get some sort of template so I can trace it out and cut out the deck. So those strips are gonna go all through here. here. That's gonna give me the template. Hopefully, ideally, that's the plan. Getting the access to some tools that I would never be able to have access to. This bandsaw is gigantic. Is it gonna fit? Whoa! And then boom. Look at this guy. A little bit different than what I'm working on, eh? And then you can walk through fish fruit fans and that is so deep. We set up the subframe be able to describe a line with this level. So we're gonna take the level and make all these lines, put a pencil on the end of the level, and draw a line for where the, the template is gonna fall. Pretty sweet. Pretty hey! hey! Sometimes it's more challenging designing a small boat because you want it to do so many things and you've only got so much room to work with. You know, it's easier to put a bunch of junk on a, on a big boat platform and have everything that somebody needs. The things that we design here, our goal is to build the best there is. That's going to be an arguable point, depending on who you talk to. In my opinion, my boats are the best we know how to make and the best in the world, in our class. That's how you do this. It's called scribe fitting. So we're going to scribe fit this piece of wood, favorite tool. You know, everything I do is a culmination of everything that I've done for my whole life. My dad has been designing boats. That's all he's ever done. All right. We've designed both all of his life. This is Ryan. Oh. He's my helper. And then we'll connect everything together and pull this out as one template. All right, looks like you have everything under control. I'm out. Thank you, Steven. Thank you again. You're welcome. You're doing great. Day two. Got, uh, the lattice work for the template for the front deck in Today, last night. We got to make this floor flat. All that curviness of the bus, well, that's that's like magnified times 10. This is university of that situation. Not only is nothing straight, but it's also uh, different facets and whatnot. So I'm going to do that whole scribe a line thing. This is Declan. What up? He does social media for Bahio sunglasses. So basically, I need help scribing those lines. And I can just be the cut guy. I'll just keep on cutting and keep on cutting. Took the little nips out and just gonna make it big, take bigger chunks, bigger chunks until we got something that resembles the shape. Dude, we're about maybe like half a millimeter off on, on these lines. When Steve comes over, he'll get us right. Okay, what do you think of that? Is it close enough? I think it's, um, it's a little bit too accurate, but uh, we can live with that. Looks good. We have the templates. I'll be dipped. Dex is going to trace them. I'm going to cut them. They don't look very good, but that's the shape of the boat. It's been scribed properly, I think. Yeah, there's bulkheads. Good to get away from the computer. It's on to another screen now. Screenager. We're just using scrap to, to get the template. 
Is it hard to live a day without social media for you? I'm struggling. I miss my phone. Jay's making me work. I'm all dusty. Haven't seen a fish pick in hours. The uh, gunnel template, pretty matched up. Still working a little bit, but it's looking pretty good. I think it's gonna work. You think it's gonna work? Better work. <laughs> Put a couple of screws, put a couple boards across this way, screw them, and then get at least one diagonal so it doesn't do that. Alright, you're looking good. Thank you, Steve. I'm gonna, I'm gonna zoom Steven. on. Thank you. <laughs> Getting there. I think that's it. We got it. The template for the floor. Looks super uh, not very great. I wish I knew what I was doing more. Seems like I've been saying that for a long time. This is Skinner, he's been uh, helping with. All these guys have been helping us out just in an incredible amount. We got a lot of questions and we, and we wasted our time a little bit too much, so we're trying to trying to keep that to a minimum. We've got the templates all cut out and pulled out, ready to transfer over to our decking material. To some point, we've done the hard work, but the scary work is coming next. And what we gotta do is bust out the grinders and we're gonna make some fiberglass fly. This, this, this whole process kind of makes my brain warm, which I guess is good. All right, this is day uh, four, I guess. We're gonna have to marry these, these foam bulkheads into the hull. And to do that, we're gonna have to grind away the, the gel coat and some of the fiberglass to get a good bond, a good marriage. Today is gonna be an interesting one because uh, there's gonna be some grinding involved. And I don't know if you guys have ever heard, but grinding in fiberglass, it's real itchy. And what happens is the little dust particles fall into your pores and then it feels like you have a million slivers all over. It's a nice boat. When you're done, you're gonna have a really nice boat. Alright, hi, I'm Jeff. You're doing this all day. All day. How do you not get... Uh, to I've the, been doing it for uh, almost... Next year will be 30 years for me. Holy smokes. Never bother. You're a wild animal. It's basically Superman and it doesn't, it doesn't bother him at all. The first time did it itch? Oh, absolutely. For the first month and a half it itched. Oh, no. That's why you want to suit up. The guys that don't do this type of stuff, grinding is a nightmare. Yeah, just touching stuff, got little splinters. As far as tools go, air tools, you gotta be the coolest. Pretty stoked about this. <laughs> Once you start running a spinning wheel at, I don't know, anything probably over 25 wow. RPMs, it's uh... I'm going in. And that's when it's gonna be chaos, because when the fiberglass flies, people dies. Like, I don't know if that's true, but like, it, it's gonna, it, you know, it gets into a tight situation, so try to see if we can get all the templates done so we can start the actual glass work. As far as learning to build stuff goes, this has been a real treat. It's fun. Building with Jay. Wow, YouTube is the great equalizer. Having some people around that know what they're doing is is so clutch. Not making giant mistakes that are costing days and days. Might be on schedule with this one. And once we get going, if you need to grind a little bit further, uh, you can. Now, to paint the whole inside, it's all gonna have to be scuffed. So all the gel coat will need to be scuffed. Looks like somebody was itchy this weekend. Oh yes, sir. It's bullcat time. We, 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 Montana. Uh, you got that much bondo on our plate. We'll take the hardener and something like that. And that's all you got to do to it. And that's regular bondo and that's fixed it hard okay. now. You got it. It's bondo. Might take a couple tries, but you got it. I have all the faith in the world in you, my man. What's your favorite fish to fish for? Kingfish. That's your favorite? I don't think I've ever caught one. I heard they're fast, like explosive. Not too bad. Oh, the straight edge is straight. Look at that, no gaps. I'll be dipped. I'll be dipped. Next day, more grinding. Well, the, the grinding part, I think, is close to over. It's been a, a pretty crazy last few days. Covered in dust and fiberglass has been, uh, 
challenge to get to sleep. Tomorrow that's gonna itch really bad. I'm gonna do a little bit of fiberglass work, gonna learn about that. That's my first move into the, the fiberglass world. Stoked. So this is the big part. This is the part that all of that template making and grinding and all that stuff is time to fiberglass. No idea what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the wet down. So wet is the key. Yep. Is what making it wet a epoxy? Is that all epoxy? It's resin. How long do you have? You have approximately about 30 minutes when you wet something out and put it on if your temperature settings are right with the temperature setting that you're going off of. Can you try fly fishing at all? Yes, I actually love fly fishing. Really? Yes. I tie my own flies. No kidding. Yeah, do you fly fish? Yeah. That's yeah. cool. Ooh, what is this action? Uh, this is just the rollout to make sure it stays strong and get the, the big air pockets out of it. If there's air pockets underneath the water that gets into your hull, it'll slowly make its way under the glass and lift it up. So that's oh. why we roll it out. Okay. It'll probably be completely hardened in about an hour. These guys did all the work, so, so of course it seems way easier to me, but I was expecting this to be quite an ordeal, but they got everything prepped and then just busted it out. I mean, honestly, we're like 15 minutes deep on this. Thank you so much for all thank for your you. help and showing me how it's You're done. welcome, no problem. Oh, thank you Anytime. very, very much. Uh, well, that was cool. I didn't really get to help. I got to kind of see what was going on. Those guys were awesome. And we're that much closer to partying. I think this was good. So you're gonna let this thing kick till tomorrow. Welcome to the next day. The bulkheads are glassed in. You're just gonna do your sanding now. Okay. And then Lots you're ready kicks. for your floor. We gotta paint it uh, a gel coat, which is apparently something that is a lot stronger than paint. But in order to do that, I have to make a mechanical bond by sanding the whole inside. It's gonna get covered in dust and little fiberglass today. It might not be my most glorious moments, but I'm going for it. And these guys have been the ultimate help. I couldn't imagine having to do this without without some practical knowledge. And these guys, these guys have been been absolutely incredible, helping me out every day, telling me uh, what I'm doing right and what I'm doing wrong. And I noticed every time you start to work on something. The closer it gets, the crappier it looks. It looks so much crappier. Doing good. You actually went overboard on some stuff, which doesn't hurt. Clean it up, and then you're ready for your floor and painting. It's the next day. The grinding's over. Holy smokes, that was crazy. Covered in it. Itched all through the weekend. Uh, had uh, little splinters everywhere you could imagine. I'd say we move it out of trim and grind, bring it into the shop here, and we'll start messing around with uh, Kusa and cutting some templates and moving on to the next phase. Thank you so much, Steven. Right. Thanks You're again. Welcome. Thank you. I'll take it. Template time. After all of that work, finally going to do a little bit of uh, some cutting on the materials. First, we got to put down a piece of Kusa, and then we're going to put the template on top, see what we can make. Oh, this is gonna work. This is Moran, he's been helping me out on all sorts of stuff. Mm. That thing rules. Horsepower 
two of them on the back of that machine. Well, how fast does that go? That'll run uh, 75 miles an hour. Over open ocean, 75 miles an hour. <laughs> different league. It's a different league. I've never had a customer tell me they think their boat is too fast. Ever. All right, you're heading in the right direction. So I think we just need to haul ass. I got boats to build. All right, thanks again, right. Steven. Thank you, man. think for the floor temp? We're short on um, half inch material right now that in the industry is. So we'll come up with some scrap that'll work. There's uh, going to be a bunch of pieces. To... What is this? We're piecing the whole floor together with cutoffs. All right, so me and Moran got a little project going on. We're trying to make the floor. We've uh, built the template. Here at Solus, they, they make giant ships and they have cutoffs. And so we're using all cutoff material to make the whole core of the floor. Pretty cool. Uh, we're not wasting anything, and, and the cost is low because this is literally scrap, so we're just kind of puzzling it together, and then we're gonna laminate it or sandwich it between fiberglass. Making plans to take Moran and Chris fishing. They've never fly fished before. Would you be down to try fly fishing with me? Oh yeah, for sure. Grandma, she likes the cane fishing. She just throw it out there and she She's be catching them though. So would you like to try it? Dude, that is no question. Oh, I think this might be the last piece. Is it doing this? It's doing this. Really? That's pretty good when I get it all the way. So I highly recommend your shit, don't debate it. Okay. That's the way to go. Trust me, you're gonna love the performance of your boat much better from start to finish. I suggest you do it with a piece of PVC. Okay. Drilling the holes for the pipes. It's probably not a bad idea to run a couple of pieces of PVC pipe in there. You go through a smooth piece of nice PVC, nothing's gonna fight you. Yeah. You can fish anything you want through there. And so you're gonna run a piece of PVC all the way back to here? You're gonna end it right here. You wanna run it all the way up here? Feeling pretty good, check it out. The pipe's in to run the fuel line and the battery line up to this little platform. Cut out the platform. That's gonna get glassed in and hold some weight more towards the front, so we quit that porpoising. It's gonna infuse the floor and the deck. What is this? Some sort of non-skid panel. That's a condition mold. That's what we use for all the non-skid on all of our plugs. They're getting ready to put the color on the non-skid mold for your floor. So it's polyester resin with pigment. Thing is, it's, it's very critical to have the right thickness. Have some sort of mold that makes it so you get a little bit of traction and you don't skid up the floor. Right now he's spraying the gel coat. This is gonna be the floor eventually. Well, right now, we're gonna tape off this non-skid. Wet it out, lay the three ounce on. And that's it. Just line up one side. This is gonna be awesome! Look at this thing! Yeah, yeah. Not the other way, the long way. Yeah, like that. Up and down, you're gonna have it all over the Sweet! That was teamwork! Holy smokes guys, today is the day. This is Paul Kissaday. He runs the infusion this whole spot. I feel like I've traveled to the future. Thank you. Absolutely, not a problem. Anytime. Steve has been telling me about this process called infusion, which is 
the future of boat building where basically you take the core material, sandwich it between sheets of fiberglass. Get in there. Never gonna go back. The old way of doing things with a chopper gun, just down and dirty, that's all behind me. There's still a lot of boat builders building boats that way, but this is definitely the way to build a boat. This is Lauren, she's been extremely, extremely helpful. I'm younger than my daughter. That's crazy. And she's my like supervisor. The sandwich is almost complete. So this is the ink of what the resin is gonna travel through. We're gonna have three feed lines, one in the center and then two on the outside. So this is where we'll connect the feed lines to after we vacuum it down. And then we'll put the feed lines into a bucket with the resin and they'll pump right into these. It's all strength. This is much stronger than rolling the glass. Plus on top of that, rolling glass, if you're not watching what you're doing when you're rolling glass, you'll have air in it. Then you've got to try to you got to try to grind the air out. With infusion you don't have to worry about that. So we're making our own infusion resin. Everything is laid out. The bag is put on, it sucks all the air out of the bag, and then it Suck sucks the all the rest of the air that's in the floor, that's in the material, and you're letting it default. And once it does that, ready? That's yeah. when you can shoot it. Here it goes. It's the future of the boat industry because of the structure of the infusion. This will make a solid foundation. It's a guarantee infusing it than it is to roll it. So it's where he worked its way all the way to the back of the line now. Show it up. I gotta flip it back over. Hundreds of tiny pieces. You wanna talk about pain in the ass, kids? Oh, I've never seen a panga. Rubber rail is off. With freaking rubber rail on it. So this just gotta go. Get back to its original state. Sand it down and looking good as new. There's like 800 holes on this cut. Yeah, there's a lot. Well, I gotta tell you. I'm going to be pretty stoked to never see the bottom of this boat again. Uh, we're going to glue in the floor. Go get a hold of Tim. Talk to him about getting this thing glued in for you. And uh, he's the best at it. He'll handle it. Get her done. We'll wrap this thing up today. This machine right here just made life a whole lot easier. It's basically a giant glue gun. Once it starts, that's it. It's on. You can't chisel it off. You can't grind. You have to get in there with grinders and grind it down sand it down. Once you start laying that glue down, you can't stop. There's, there's no time out. Take a bunch, Kevin. Thank you. Good day. Thank you so much, man. Hey! You making progress? I think so. Wow, you're in. All right, thanks again, Steven. Thank you so All much. Right, you're welcome. Ready. Thank you. Have fun. Well, the deck floor is in. Al got this glassed in today, and then pierrot up and glassed in the whole floor. It's the first time I ever did that. Hopefully not the last. It's been an honor to learn from just master craftsmen, having the ability to grab some secrets and some know-how from these guys has been an absolute treat. This will be maybe a skill that can stay with me forever. Someday, when this whole thing needs some repair, I'll be able to, to do Not it. Not good.
All right, it's template time again. This might be the last one I make. Sketchy template number 540. I mean, there's no question it could have been done faster, but uh, I mean, you know, we're doing things one step at a time, so it's taking a little bit longer, but it's very accurate, it's lightweight, and the job is coming out good. When you're done, you're gonna be a pro. Started here, no idea how fiberglass worked or anything. Now I'm doing these little things like it ain't no thing. It uh, looks like a bango. Get back to work, quit messing around. Glued in. Good afternoon, Friday. Maybe the last day. And Mr. Cordell has came to the rescue. He's gonna help me out with this, and then I'm gonna take him fly fishing. He's gonna try fly fishing for the first time. I think he's gonna like it. I think he's gonna like it. Never been fishing? Fishing? Oh, guys, we got some work to do. Okay. It's going to be pretty pretty. Check it out. Wow. A little bit of paint. This thing's going to be just spiffy. Pretty good. Man, has this been quite the process. Had no idea that it would be this much work. This fiberglass dust is not easy on you. Every night you go to sleep with tons of slivers, but I feel like I've come a long way. This has been a ride, kids. This has been a ride. I'm gonna be pretty excited when, uh, when I'm not building anymore, maybe do a little bit of fishing. Whoa. This color is like the water, man. I love it. Getting real close. It's getting that spot to where the wiring is going to be a real situation. But I got Michael Lynn here. Simple wire diagram. You just block the build pump switch. So it'll be pretty easy. Thanks again, Steven. This is it, kids. This is it. This guy. It's coming on out of here. This is the last day. salvation the fan cool.